You're looking at the title menu to Deus Ex Mankind Divided, a sequel to the best-selling Deus Ex Human Revolution, which itself was a revival of the seminal Deus Ex series created by Warren Spector and Harvey Smith way back in 2000, and pretty much the only good thing ever to come out of Ion Storm. Despite a powerful game engine, a $70 million budget, and a game design which leans heavily on some of the classic design elements which tend to increase the chances of success, Mankind Divided is a commercial failure. A failure so significant, it's effectively terminated investment in the series, and left fans with an aborted and incomplete narrative. This turn of events is significant because, despite taking everything that was successful in Human Revolution and turning it up to 11, and despite achieving critical success, Mankind Divided joins the sad list of sequels that have failed to set the world on fire. Mankind Divided, Watch Dogs 2, Dishonored 2, Titanfall 2, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which must be the 23rd Call of Duty game thus far. Why are sequels, in some cases well-made sequels to well-received franchises, failing? In this series I aim to explore some of the reasons, from poor design choices, to disingenuous marketing campaigns, to incredibly overpriced DLC. In many ways, the spine of any game is a product of both design choices and engagement with the player and how the game is presented to the player, the options available, the psychological tricks used to extract more dollars, all of this eventually has an impact and can go a long way from flipping that buy now switch in the player's head to, I'm gonna wait for a sale. Welcome to The Deconstructionist.